here a brand new different <laughs> Fender Vintera 270 strap in vintage white why buy another Vintera here's the story I got a different guitar the other day uh, it was a very nice guitar and um, uh, it's a it's a well-known brand and it's actually a newer model from the recent years I'm not gonna say the model and the brand <laughs> but uh, to be honest I can remember the brand because this brand I mean can remember the model because this brand has a lot of numbers and letters in their top brands but anyway it's a good guitar um, it had locking tuners graphic knot uh, floating tremolo ebony fretboard which was really gorgeous and uh, stainless steel jumbo fret wires wow uh, while I was just at the store I was trying this guitar this is the, a display piece but it's in very good condition although it was not set up you know, properly yet and I was trying this one and when I was going to pay for this I saw over the cashier beside the cashier uh, area that guitar it had a flame maple top with some kind of uh, burst finish and the, the 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 top was like really nice and for for a moment I it caught my eye and I brought this I brought this back to the, the, the to the to its display stand and played that guitar it was also not set up properly the bridge was supposed to be floating and it was um, uh, leaning behind uh, I think the, the the spring was pulling it down uh, but it was supposed to be floating and the, the tremolo uh, studs were put quite high so the string action was high also and I played the guitar it, it didn't have any problems but the string was quite the, the string action was quite a, a, bit, a bit high not quite high but a bit high so I played the whole uh, fretboard I didn't get any choking or any dead spots and so as soon as I got home I um, set up the guitar properly um, I uh, adjusted it to my preferred string action and uh, adjusted the, the nut height the neck relief and everything pickups and everything and then while I was playing with it I realized that somewhere here in the upper register of the neck I mean in the upper part of the neck there was a dead note like I think it was a, a G the G or on the second string the G on the second string uh, on the high, high octave and could be the G or I can't remember which one but while, while, while I was jamming uh, on A minor I, I think it's, it's this note or this anyway one of them uh, they whenever I pick them it, it was that so instead of I get instead of this I get this I get that no, I, I get those notes so I noticed that one of them were dead and it confused me a bit uh, me having uh, some knowledge about fret leveling and uh, 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 high frets and how to adjust them it, it confused me a bit because 
I was uh, in my ears. I was supposed to hear this, and then when I when I play it, I only hear that. But I'm doing this. Uh, if you can see my finger, I'm doing this. But instead of <laughs> instead of hearing that, I hear this. And so it, it confused me for a while. Uh, I mean, for a, 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 for a bit because I, I was like, "Hey, this is brand new guitar. Am I supposed to have it? Am I supposed to have? Uh, 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 am I supposed to do work here because it's it's quite brand new and." But I really like the guitar. Um, the neck I don't like so much because it's. I feel like it's for shredding and the neck is a bit thick, and it's not a shred. So. Uh, uh, confused me a bit. Uh, I thought maybe. Maybe there's a high spot, so I took out my fret rocker. Uh, there's there's no high spot and. It's quite weird. This is the first time I noticed uh, something like that uh, from a guitar. There's no high spot. I mean, there's a high spot. The one of the frets is a bit high, but it's not as, as high as uh, uh, one would think to cause that. And it really confused me a bit. And so, after a few um, uh, tries of setting it up and getting different uh, neck reliefs and everything the, the dead spot was there and I couldn't get rid of it so <laughs> around uh, I think 1 a.m. in the morning or 1 30 <laughs> I just couldn't sleep and I emailed the store and the next day they responded they just told me to bring the uh, I, asked, I emailed and I texted the store uh, I asked them to uh, if I can make a replacement for the guitar because of the problem um, to be honest I can try and relevel the thing but it's gonna take me about a uh, few hours and I don't want to touch it I just I just wanted to get rid of it so I emailed the the store and I asked them if I can replace the guitar because of the problem and then they just told me to just bring the guitar to the store for a refund, uh, a replacement and a refund or exchange, yeah, that one, not replacement, uh, exchange I think that was the term. So I bought it to the store the next day and got a, didn't have any problems replacing it. But I really liked that guitar because um, it's the first time I played the guitar like that, which has is, has very good tuning stability. The tremolo and the tremolo, which is their original uh, uh, design tremolo. By the way, it's not a Floyd Rose type. It's just two floating, two point bridge with locking um, tuners and graph tech nut. It, it was almost like Floyd Rose uh, dive bomb uh, feels. You know you can get really really low and it's this still stays in tune it's actually first time I played uh, uh, something with a tremolo that has locking tuners and they're quite stable in terms of tuning but I still got this so they didn't uh, hesitate to give me a replacement and said and then good thing I was uh, still able, still able to get this because this one is the last piece also <laughs> And they were having, a, I think they were having a sale with big discounts, like twenty to thirty percent discount. I'm not sure, but I think they are. <laughs> so nobody has bought this yet, and I don't think the the younger people now they don't like playing. They don't like because a lot of people try guitars there. They most of the time they don't buy, and I've seen them try a lot of modern guitars, but they don't touch this one. <laughs> I guess because this one is a vintage type one and I'm a vintage type of guy although I can't afford the real vintage I'll uh, get the second best which is this one I can't even afford an American vintage reissue but because I have knowledge in setting up my guitars and everything I just buy the Mexican one so yeah that's how I got this guitar so it's a it's a replacement, 
and I've set up the whole thing to my liking uh, set up the relief the bridge the tremolo all the things that I need uh, I even removed the paint that is covering the, the finish that is covering the fret wires uh, maybe I'm gonna replace the the nut to a graph tech nut <laughs> because that nut from the other guitar was I just really wanted to have that tuning stability although this one is not locking I think it's gonna help and I'm also not going to modify this to the YGM specs even though it's very tempting because of the the way this one looks either that or I put the neck of my other Vintero 72 over here put this on the other one and see if any changes or feel changes in feel or like mojo or well, the mojo is not really real <laughs> maybe the potentiometer I'm gonna change because I get really late response from the voice it's like halfway it's just this and then you have about 75% of the, the potentiometer you get this sound and then 100% <laughs> that's it this is 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 from the potentiometer is quite uh, late we'll probably replace it so what's the difference between this one and the other one uh, this one has uh, this one has uh, the bullet trash rod in the middle so it's probably uh, aligned in the center unlike the other one uh, the neck is not that bad I still like this neck compared to the Japanese one even though somebody say the Japanese one it has a narrower neck okay one tip uh, even if your guitar is the neck of your guitar is really narrow if the back of the guitar the profile of the neck the back uh, is has a different um, shape for example a D shape it's just gonna feel quite thick unless you have really really big fingers uh, like Paul Gilbert you know you, you know any re the, the reason why Paul Gilbert uh, prefers very thick neck because it's it's because of his hand his hand is too big and those of us who are mere mortals mere mor mortals especially me I'm Asian no I'm not Asian I'm Filipino I, I don't know I, li I live in Asia so supposedly, supposedly I'm Asian <laughs> I was born in Asia so I just call myself Asian uh, we have uh, different fingers from uh, Paul Gilbert and those people who are more than six feet tall so how narrow neck may be from here to here if you if you uh, uh, measure them it depends on the back of the neck and uh, I think one luthier I've read somewhere or uh, maybe I uh, saw it in YouTube it's always the shape of the neck here that matters here and here it's not the the narrowness the narrowness uh, I mean the measurement of the neck from here to here is at the back that's why I if I can remember there were neck profiles from Fender back in 2000 I mean 2001 uh, there, I had a I had a magazine of Fender uh, I can remember the the year of their anniversary back then but they had different types of uh, neck shape there was a V shape I, I don't know if they still have the V shape right now there's a V shape and then there's a U bo uh, there's a boat uh, I cannot remember the exact name but there was like a boat shape 
and a U shape and a D shape and a C shape. And there's a V shape and I've read that some some people prefer the V shape if I can remember it correctly because of the shape here. So the thickness is from here to here. Uh, it doesn't matter always as much. It's the shape on the side here because when you play, you put your you put this part of the finger and this part of the finger on those areas. So it, you don't put this part always at the back. You'll feel the neck on 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 this side and this side. So it depends on how this thing is shaped. If it's shaped a D, even though the thing is the thickness here is quite thin, like my uh, Ibanez um, RG565, which, which is a prestige model. It's got very thin neck here. Like it's really thin. It's really thin. But, but it's quite thick. I, I'm not sure how thick the measurement here is. But to me, it feels like it's very... Uh, uh, how can I say it? Uh, quite big. The neck feels like it's big. It's thin when you play it like this, but the the the, the neck, uh, the thickness of the neck measurement here is quite big. And even though the neck is really thin, I really like it when I play like this, which is classical style. The the thumb is always at the back. Because that neck will force you to play like that. If if I put my finger over the 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 size of the, the neck, it feels like the thing is still thick because of the the edge here. It's not round. It's somewhat of a, a um, somewhat of a, a D, but it's got a big drop, like. It feels like because they thinned out the back of the neck, the sides here got like a big drop, and to me it doesn't actually feel very comfortable unless I play the guitar like this, you know, classical style, and it's this high, and then my fingers are like this, and I play. I don't, I don't put my finger here. It's always the back, which I cannot do because <laughs> the neck is thin. That is classical style. By the way, I used to uh, play classical when I was young. Uh, I started learning classical guitar uh, when I was 18. No, oh, no, I, I think 17. But I didn't prosper in that. Anyway, I didn't prosper in life. <laughs> so, so yeah, it depends on the neck, shape of the neck, and because of that, uh, I already forgotten my point. <laughs> My point is then the neck, uh, how even though how narrow it is, is it depends on the shape here. From what I've uh, uh, heard a luthier say before, maybe from YouTube or I read it online. Because I'm already forty years old, and <laughs> when I was younger, I used to just read and read. We didn't have any YouTube yet, so just read and read and read everything I read. And one of those, um, well, Luther said, it's because of the shape here. And so I said, uh, as I was saying, I like the neck of this one. It's a lot better than the Japanese one, even though the Japanese one is narrower, if someone might say. Uh, I have a few Japanese guitars because of the quality. I would never have these. Um, uh, kind of flaws uh, I've never had any flaw with any guitar that I bought from Japan I think I've owned several Japan guitars I used to own a 19 an ST68 with a red body I think it's a parts caster that was my first Fender and then I played uh, somebody lent me a 19 uh, ST67 with a vintage white color 
that one was uh, nice but I had to give it back to the owner and then I tried um, I I uh, I think I I owned a but it got stolen I owned a ST71 but it was password body so I I didn't like the I didn't like the feel <laughs> so I had to sell it <laughs> plus it didn't have the vintage um, the vintage F style tuners that this one has um, and then the Fender Japan YJM which I owned in 2015 and this one uh, from 2021 and they're all flawless uh, coming out of the from the factory you, you won't have any problems with them it's just that it's just too much uh, it's too perfect that you know it's not really what I want I wanted though a YGM strat so <laughs> sometimes I modify but anyway I was talking about a different thing so this one doesn't have that uh, uh, guitar uh, uh, offset uh, thrust rod not here it's in the middle I open the back cavity by the way the back cavity is really really routed very cleanly I guess they they, they repaint they, they paint the body first then they route the the back cavity because the back cavity doesn't have any route uh, doesn't have any paint on it uh, the spring claw is in the middle correctly placed unlike the other one which was slightly off centered also so uh, if I set up the spring to a specific uh, to a certain uh, setup the spring hits the side of the wall or uh, the, the cavity the wall of the cavity so makes a noise so I set it up to a different type of a setup so this one is correct the problem with this one is the the back plate is I don't know if it's too big for the <laughs> too big for its uh, where the holes are drilled because I have some gap here I have a gap here which I can put a pick under <laughs> The back is that big. I can put a 1.5 millimeter pick, which is probably going to be lost because it's the back. If I put it there, I'm just gonna be forgetting that it's there because it's the back. <laughs> Pickups are same. Doesn't have the reverse one reverse polarity. As you can hear, the B. You hear that? sound yeah. that's supposed to go away if I put it on the neck uh, the middle and the bridge pickup but it's still there bridge it's still there bridge middle it's still there middle it's actually lower <laughs> neck and middle is quite noisy <laughs> it's strange because it's actually the hum is louder in between those pickups which is supposed to be <laughs> if it had a reverse one reverse polarity middle pickup those those hum will go away on the on, on the in-betweens anyway uh, so yeah I said I'm not gonna modify this I probably will have it uh, stuck like this and uh, I don't know maybe I'll change my mind in the future but for now I just want to enjoy it as it is because i already have four guitars that have this finish uh, all the ygm ones i have are have this finish and i really don't like having uh, uh, i mean i'm starting to get tired of the same color <laughs> before i love this color on my ygms but i guess this one will be maybe if, i think i'm gonna replace the neck i'm gonna swap the necks of the Vintaria 270s that I have with the rosewood neck and this one 
and we'll see if it feels nice or not then I'm just gonna put them back together but uh, that's it for today I guess uh, thank you for watching and for those who are not subscribed please subscribe to my channel you'll be probably help me in the future uh, my room is a bit uh, uh, messy right now because I, I'm packing now and I'll be moving to a different place and today is a Tuesday so in three days I'll be moving to a different place so uh, we'll probably settle there first before I make a new video and again thank you for watching and those who are not subscribed please subscribe hit the like button uh, hit share if you like if there's anything worth sharing about this guitar uh, if any questions you have, just put it in the comment section and comment section, and I'm gonna answer them as as much as I can. And um, for those who are not subscribed yet, please subscribe again. And thank you for watching again. And to those who are subscribed, please thank you so much. And uh, uh, we'll see you in the next video in maybe a few days after I finish um, settling down to the new place. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for today.